Hey, hello, big man. man. <laughs> hey, man, nice to meet you. <laughs> Seven, eight, nine, ten. What's going on guys? Here I am back at the best bodybuilding gym in Dubai, Benos Gym, with the Dutch Giant Oliver. <laughs> Thank you for coming back yeah, to the channel and Thank for another advice. workout. Um, so just have a few questions I want to go over. Okay. These are the most questions I have seen asked in the comment section. So we're gonna discuss that today. First one will be, do you feel you hit the genetic lottery with your height? Oh, uh, well at the beginning when I was 19, then I was through the 18, I, it really felt like a curse. Because when you're 19 and you're not really doing anything with your life, and everybody's looking at you, and I was so skinny because I was growing four centimeters a month at the certain level. Uh, so I was only 80 kilos. Really looking skinny, everybody looking at you, not happy at all. It was also the reason why I started bodybuilding. And um, yeah, along I increased weight, I got more happy about my body. I uh, got a little into acting, into movies, and now it feels more like a gift. Uh, yeah, so. At a certain point, I do feel like that it's a, it's a gift, but it wasn't at the start at all. No. Absolutely. It's also very difficult with everything, clothing, cars, planes, you name it, it's too small for me. Toilets, machines, yeah, it's, it's a different life. <laughs> I'm sure it was hell getting adjusted, but now that you have it, as you said, you really see it for the gift that it is, and yeah. who doesn't want to be taller? <laughs> I can always... I always say, well, it was nice about 6'2", six 6'3". Six for bodybuilding. Yeah, exactly. Well, for oh, strong man. Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. for arm wrestling even. Yeah. yeah. Um, but the thing is, if you cross 2 meter 10, then you get into problems. The daily life things, people staring, emotional stuff, uh, getting too skinny if you don't eat right. You know, um, tall is definitely cool and uh, gifty. <laughs> But above 2 meter 10, I, in my experience, it, it can be very hard for a person. Yeah. Absolutely. After all, the world isn't made for giants, so oh, no, sure. you have to <laughs> pave your own path, as they would say. Yeah. Do you feel that when you're taller, that you're taller, you're stronger? Actually, I discussed that with uh, Hefner, uh, Tour the Mountain. Uh, I met him uh, at Comic Con in Belgium. I even asked him that question, what do you think, are we stronger? Or He actually agreed with me that if you put somebody next to each other, a small person, a tall person, yeah, they aren't training. A small person is stronger because if you hold weights further away, uh, it's heavier. And it's also with range, more range of motion. But the thing is that a taller person, in our opinion, can go to an other level because he can build so much on his frame. So the smaller person will reach his max level earlier and the giant can keep growing. Yeah. So I think that's a little bit it. Absolutely, I agree with that. Absolutely. How many meals and calories, roughly, do you need to <laughs> eat to maintain 155? Yeah. Or so to even grow? The body you see now, 155 kilos, needs 7,000 calories exact to stay at the same level. If I exceed 6,000, I drop to 150 kilos. That's how fast it goes. If I want to get shredded, I eat 5,000 calories. And I'm at the 7,000 calories every day. That's how much energy this body takes. Just the walking, the, the muscle mass. Yeah, so I, I actually eat seven to six to seven times a day, thousand calories, and between 50 or 60 grams of protein per meal. And if I don't do that, you immediately see in the coming weeks, you see it in the mirror and the, and the weight scale. It's, it's absolutely ridiculous that the heavier you get, the more the food needs to increase. That's, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, all, it's, it's kind of a curse, but it's the life I've chosen and the life I love. So, um, and you're very unique because of it. You're very yeah. unique, yes. Yeah, that's what I love, the, the roles that I got chosen for uh, in the movie are also because of that, of course. Yeah. Have you thought about getting into strongman? If not, why? Actually, yeah, I started bodybuilding because of that insecurity. Uh, because I was only 80 kilos, I wanted to yeah, gain weight, and I thought bodybuilding was the thing to do. So for so many years, I never put a full focus on strength. And at a certain point I did, and I did get really strong, like uh, for me, bench pressing 150 kilos 10 times, I did do that, but 
the stronger I got, the more injury everything felt. And it didn't feel like I was going to do competition, so I just stayed at bodybuilding to play safe. And for some reason, I think back now, I'm happy that I did that. Because my body is still very healthy. I don't want to say strongman's bodies are not healthy, but I'm keeping it at a safe level because I'm a full focus on movies at the moment. And, I, and if I get an injury like I have in the past, yeah, and I can't train anymore, my body shrinks and I might not get that part. So strength is not my main focus. But uh, yeah, of course I want to be the strongest also, but you can't have it all. <laughs> True, and you know, the thing is, as you said it best, you want a career in movies, and you, uh, in the last couple of years, have made a lot of progress with that. Yeah. To grow, you don't need to lift heavy. No, yeah. You know, to be, like, you're 155 now, and you can even go above and beyond that. Okay. And you don't need to do one rep maxes, three rep maxes, instead of training like a strong powerlifter, because that doesn't build size like bodybuilding does. Lifting with lighter weight, with a stronger mind muscle connection. So you don't need to add that risk into your training machine. Yeah, no, I had, I had interest in my wrist and my shoulders, and then for three months, it slacked me down, and I was like, ah, not again. No, and that's, I don't want that anymore. So you see, with these kind of trainings, it, it makes me grow with a safer weight. And some might say, ah, oh, you should go into storm, and I, I completely understand that, guys, but it's just not for me. And I have, I have another dream, which is already actually completed, getting into Marvel, but let's see what's beyond that. <laughs> oh, yeah. And last question is, what are we training today? Yeah, that's going to be interesting. It's a schedule that you really have to build uh, for four weeks. The first week is horrible. So what we're going to do is uh, pick a weight for 15 reps and you need to fill. So if it's 15, you can get 16 and you go 16. After that, you put the weight back, three reps, and you do it again. You repeat that until you at least have 30 reps. So do 15 reps, then you get seven reps, five reps, four reps, three reps. You reach at least 30 reps. And it's gonna be so intense because you go, every time you do that, you go into failure with only three seconds rest. And what I know when I do, did this schedule like half a year ago, is that you're gonna fail horribly in the first week, but you're gonna progress in the weeks after. So what might happen is that we pick a weight, we can do 15 bits, but the strength goes completely away. And that's the stamina that we're missing at the moment. We're gonna build that stamina. So we're gonna try 15, seven, five, four. But if we drop too fast, we just have to pick lighter weights because we're not used to it yet. So it's totally not about strength. It's really getting that lactic acid in it so much. That's why the schedule is called Explode. You're gonna be so fully pumped. And it's gonna look interesting on your body. <laughs> When you go four times to the failure, the blood goes so much in. You will notice, uh, but it's, it's very heavy on the stomach. Man. Well, I'm ready. Yes, sir. Let's get to it. It's cool, man. All right. <laughs> hey, guys. So I had an amazing Black Friday sale. Thanks to you. Thank you all for supporting PR. But at the end of this month, right now we are at the end of December. I have purple PR accessories coming. Purple wrist wrap, purple elbow wraps, purple knee wraps, the whole purple edition line. If you like the color of the PR belt that's online now, sold out, but it's coming back in stock next month. But all the accessories, excluding the PR belt, will be available at the end of this month. Just stay tuned to the PRStyle.com website or my Instagram page. I will also be sending out an email when it is live. Again, check out PRLifestyle.com for the best lifting gear, supplements, clothes in the game, and for the purple accessories coming soon. Thank you. Yeah. All right. One, okay, count. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 13, 14, 15, 16, yes. All right, one breath, that's two. And that's three, come on, no problem. One, two, drive. Yep. Come on. Faster. Let's go. Get that back. I can't do it. Straight dropping. No problem. That's three. Let's go. Okay. No. That's too 
to my shoulders. <laughs> my shoulders are so tired. Uh, that first set, you looked real strong. Well, you did 17? Yeah, it drops. 16. 16. That yeah. looked real strong. Yeah, no, I have to drop the weight. Huh. I don't. I don't understand. My, my strength drops so quickly. Yeah. I, I, I guess I guess I have to build up the stamina again. It was too long ago. Yeah. Or your breathing pattern. How were you breathing for each rep? Were you holding your breath for most of it, and then was it sporadic, or was it? Were you breathing for each rep? I might have been holding it. We have to look back at the camera. For high rep sets, you have to breathe for each rep. Yeah. 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 Instead of that, we lose strength too quickly. That's the problem I had as well in the first set. Four weeks. And each week you see so much progression in how many reps you've had. And I've got a first week for a while. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Yeah. <laughs> I have no idea. There's absolutely no stamina left in my shoulders. <laughs> absolutely zero. No, doing it this way is very difficult. It's very difficult. I'll drop it on your kg, and it's still gonna be hard. Yeah. Oh well, we learn from our mistakes. Hey, holy big man. <laughs> hey man, nice to meet you. Andrew used to be big. <laughs> well, he still is. I thought he was like a number of human beings. What a midget. Damn, like a story block. Who's loving it? You see this shelf he has? Yeah, it's all. Let's go on, what I got. Wow, man. Great to meet you. Only see these on television. Oh, same for you. Yeah, in real life, bro. We're adventurous, right? What? Black Hawk. I'm trying to think, man. I'm trying to think. Incredible. So, well, yeah, I've seen him post on Instagram videos. Oh, Very incredible. No, no, he, he's, uh, he, you know, he, he put me through all this stuff. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah grateful for him. You're always motivated. Yeah. Uh, two way three, he motivates me. Every week he's getting he's one kg. So. <laughs> it's like an it, so internal good. competition, right? Exactly. Oh, good. Uh, he is the backbone of everything. <laughs> really appreciate it. 
Yeah, awesome to have you in Dubai, bro. Yeah, but you're pretty tall as well, man. Incredible. Nah, hell no, bro. Hell no. Nah, <laughs> yeah, I'm, just, I'm just doing this chest. For a body I'm like invincible, man. The fuck is going on? Stand back to back. Back to back. <laughs> no way! <laughs> my head is like his arms. Yeah, but fuck. Yeah, his arms is like my head. <laughs> his shoulder goes right over your head. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, 733, yeah? 732. Oh, 2 okay. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm used to it, but always people who meet me the first time, it's always a shock. Exactly. Eventually you honestly, get used to it. But, uh, honestly, it's a blessing, man. I'm telling you, it's a blessing. Yeah, it was, it was a curse in the beginning, I have to say. Yeah. When you're 19 years old and you're that tall, you don't know what to yeah. do with it. Yeah, exactly. You're very thin, people stare at you constantly in supermarkets. Yeah. And uh, yeah, over the years I learned to cope with it, started bodybuilding, got more, got more confident. And now thanks to that and the movie, exactly, so like exactly. a dream coming true. Yeah, yeah. But I guess from a curse to a gift. <laughs> of course. It's a blessing, honestly. It's a blessing. Yeah. yeah. How much do you weigh now? 134. Oh, okay, damn. Yeah, you're a frame holder. Oh, Bro, it's how to get out of bed. <laughs> it's how to walk. <laughs> it's how to do anything. Kind it's of familiar. <laughs> it's how to do, you know, the duty at night even. PG. <laughs> Everything is just hard. It's crazy. But do you come at a certain weight yeah. that you need to do? Some sort of stamina cardio to keep up with it, or yeah, yeah. I still but, do. but if you do that, you, you have to even eat more than the exactly. Store, like uh, first thing in the morning at six o'clock, cardio half an hour, faster cardio, Jesus half an hour. Then all supplement food and everything. And I still got six more kg after the one forty. Yeah. How many calories do you now? Bro, bro, I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> I just, I'm not interested in that. All I know is just eat the required food and that's it. Because. I count the calories, I might go mad, you know? I'll be like, it's too much, so I don't, I don't count all that. Yeah, I'm on 7,000 calories. It's, it's great, so. Just to keep this weight of 155. Yeah. And One, I, I don't have that much fat, so. 155. <laughs> you? Yeah, yeah. It's because of the height and so much frame Wait, to fill. Wait, 155? Yeah. How, how, how? If Morgan can be 150, how is he 155? Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you have a weight skill, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> might be 160 now, he's looking full. <laughs> looking forward. Yeah, there goes a lot of weight into height. The frame goes so big. Yeah, you can exactly, feel yeah. It's, out it's of so out of proportion for, with the for weight. For tall guys, that's the big disadvantage. It's hard to fill up everywhere. Yeah. yeah. And that's why I see like most big guys, they look big, but we have like skinny lower part and up. heavy, you know, like upper part. But it's, 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 it's proportional but because of the height. But it's just like me for you, it's a full day job. I need to eat every two and a half hours, three hours, 1,000 calories, or I lose weight. Yeah. It's absolutely ridiculous. I eat every three hours. Yeah. Three hours. I talked to him, you know, I asked him how he survived this. He was like, I'll get there. I'm like, okay. <laughs> it's, uh, it's crazy. It, uh, it can't be maintained for long, but you've already been this weight for like about a month? For about a month, yeah. yeah. I mean, I put on what? I put on now 14 kgs in three months. I'm three months? Yeah. I have extra kilos more. 140 and then start the process. Then drop down from there. Start the process of cutting and everything, yeah. Everything. We're all excited, man. We're all excited. Because to see I, have to be, I have to be 125 on stage. Oh, damn. Minimum 125 on stage. So, dropping to 100 kg because the way I'm performing the exercise called Explode. It's work up to a set of 15 to 20, 15 minimum. Rack it, three breaths, rack it, three breaths, rack it, three breaths. And whew, the... Uh, Try to reach at least 30 perhaps. Yes. And the schedule you should do four weeks and you see every week you build up so much stamina into the muscles and you use that for your following schedule and trainings. You're really building something up here. See, this is week one. So getting 30 is going to be very difficult, but each week it gets significantly easier, isn't that right? Yeah, well each week you get more reps, fancy you reach 30. Alright. Seven now. Okay. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 
21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Nice. Try to get five or four. So I started with 40, I reached 15 reps, then, but then my stamina was completely wasted. Mm -hmm. Then we did 30 on each side, it went a little bit better, but I still couldn't reach 30, so I have to drop again <laughs> one place. It's a ridiculous schedule, but it's, it's so cool to do this for four weeks because you see so much progression. <laughs> no shame, guys, no shame. It's all about <laughs> progressing. Is that can get the clip on? Yep. Okay, so on the next part of Explode, we are going to do flies, but we have a new piece of equipment in here. This is, this is it right here. It looks cool. Uh, it, looks cool. it looks quite long. I'll be... I never fit in Peck Deck machines or whatever, so let's see. Uh, but this will be the first machine you ever fit in for Peck Deck. Oh, absolutely. Let's see. Let's see if, if I fit in it, yeah, of course. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's easy for me. Always the maximum size. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Whoa, look at this. Oh, oh wow, I can switch my arms. <laughs> my... <laughs> That's incredible. Uh, it accommodates even someone seven foot two. What? Right. Yeah. That's sick. really impressive. Right? This is really yeah. from Jim. This is the only thing. Lake if I just keep it like this, then it's perfect. Wow. And this is going to work. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five more. One, two, three, four, five. 15, 16, can you do it? 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Eight. Uh, oh, 29. Uh, 30. Oh, shit. Uh, <laughs> oh that's incredible. You even kept tension oh. on it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. This is why we call it explode. Uh. <laughs> uh, I look like I legit have boobs from this angle. Yeah. Uh, there's so, because you go three or four times to fill it, there goes so much blood in it. Honestly. <laughs> I think if I show my nipple now, we'll get demonetized because it looks like boobs. <laughs> I have boobs oh. now. <laughs> awesome. That counts every five. Four. Yep. Five. Five. Six. Seven. Yep. Eight. 
Save your breath, I'll count, no problem. Ten. Yes, push. Push. One more for fifteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Drive. Yes. Perfect. No problem. Twenty. Twenty-one. Twenty-two. Twenty-three. Let it burn. Twenty-four. Twenty-five. Let's go. Yes. Yes. Okay. Twenty-six. Back at it. Back to work, sir. Let's get back to work. Come on. 27, 28, 29, do we have 30? 30, come on. Yes, 31, finish it, let's go. 32, yes. Come on, let's see that big pump. Ooh, yeah. yeah. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Fourteen, fifteen, ah, uh, sixteen. Okay, two steps. Yeah. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Uh. Nice. Fifty-one. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, okay. 29, 30. Nice. Oh man. See how different it is. We, with the arm training, we also did 30 reps, but it was completely different than this technique, while we're also going through the reps. That's right. Oh, it's just constant tension, zero rest. Oh, zero. Nine. Nine. <laughs> Six. Yes. No problem. Five. Ten. No problem. Fifteen. Yes. Sixteen. Let's go. Come on. Finish it. You got this. Come on. Seventeen. Come on. Come on. Drive. Eighteen. Yes. Yes, sir. Nineteen. Twenty. Twenty-one. 22, 23, finish it, come on, 4, 25, 26, come on, big air, two more breaths, big air, big air, come on, 27, 28, let's go, 9, let's go, 30, two more, two more, Yes, 31. Last one. That's it. Good. Yes. Don't curse, don't curse. I told myself in Holland I'm going to make Larry do a schedule. He's going to fill it and I'm failing even more than you. <laughs> <laughs> My stamina has caught up a lot in the last couple months. Yeah, I can see that. You came two months ago. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. 
So many roads to Rome, you know? Exactly. But, uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you how I do it and all that. <laughs> oh, I love it. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. Really, really good pump. Yeah. Because uh, the first three years I trained, I, I just trained uh, three sets of 10 
try to get a little bit stronger and then after three years nothing happens anymore. Yeah. And in my opinion then you have to do things like this and really each schedule has to make sense for the other schedule. So this stamina that you build up you use in the following schedule and so on. <laughs> so you have to get out of your comfort zone to run. Yeah. As you said, you do the same training program, the same routine, you're going to get the same results. This is such a shock for the body. You already seen in the first exercise how we overestimated it. Imagine what it does for the body. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you so much, man, for that. Oh, thank you for coming. Training uh, too, guys. We have some more content coming your way. Uh, we will get the giant on the table, teach him a couple of things, see how he likes it. Um, we have a leg workout, dude. Oh, nice. We have a leg workout. Nice. <laughs> and look, guys, if you don't subscribe with the thumbs up button, you're not going to get your next PR. That's not me saying it. Someone told me this. Just for your own safety, <laughs> well being, you hit the thumbs up and subscribe. Play safe. See you guys in the next one.